Okay, good morning everybody. Thank you for watching today's vlog. I am just starting my skincare routine. This is just a serum from Osea. So today's video is actually sponsored by Osea and I'm so thankful and so excited to share it with you guys. And I always struggle with dry skin. <laughs> I've just had the driest skin my whole life. Um, moving to South Florida has helped my skin just because the air is more, like there's more moisture in the air. So that's helped my dry skin. But still, I just have, I'm just one of those girls that just got, I'm a dry skin girly. <laughs> so I'm really excited to share with you guys the new advanced protection cream from Osea. Before the moisturizer, of course, I always cleanse morning and night. I just have the ocean cleanser. I'm more of a nighttime cleanser. That's when I take my makeup off, just cleanse my skin from the day. Sometimes I'll use a cleanser in the morning, sometimes I won't, but it just felt good today. And it's just so beautiful to have out on the counter. And then since I am more of a dry skin girly, I also have the Hyaluronic um, C Serum from Osea and that I put on right after I cleanse. And then I will go in with the Advanced Protection Cream from Osea. So like I said, I have dry skin. So, so this is the moisturizer. If you have dry skin or sensitive skin, it is the Advanced Protection Cream from Osea. I wear this daily. I like to have a very minimal skincare routine. So whatever moisturizer I wear during the day, I also wear the same one at night. If you're new to Osea products, Osea is a clean, vegan, cruelty-free, seaweed-based skincare brand. So this is the Osea Advanced Protection Cream. I'm gonna take about this much for my whole face. So this is part of my daily skincare routine, especially for my dry skin. So the ingredients in this are amazing. One of the ingredients I think is really cool is seaweed. So seaweed will help replenish the skin's barrier, which will help lock in this moisture. There's also a vegan retinol alternative. So it's a retinol light extract that helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles, which I am all about, especially now that I get more sun living here. If you have dry skin, the Advanced Protection Cream is clinically proven to improve skin's hydration by 121%. So, <laughs> down my neck, this is a very rich cream, so if you have mature skin or just more on the drier side, like me, this is gonna be amazing. It's very rich. You can see just by the way it like, blends into the skin. It's a very rich cream and a little bit goes a long way. I used just that amount I showed you all for my whole skin and then all for my face and then bringing it down the neck and like there's plenty to go around so it will last you a long time which I love as well. Of course any leftover I'm just going to go ahead and spread throughout my hand. I just love that the advanced protection cream and all the products are naturally derived and just full of really good for you ingredients. So I will have a link to the Osea advanced protection cream and all of the skincare products I'm using down in my description box along with a code for y'all to try it out. It's honestly amazing. And I'm also going to put on the ocean eyes. This is the um, one of the like allure best of beauty for these ocean for the ocean eyes eye cream. And it has a cooling little ball on top, which is amazing. And this just feels more like an eye kind of gel or like an eye serum. It's just so cooling. Something I learned from TikTok is to put eye cream like all the way up here as well. I also always like to put eye cream right here. And right here, like right where your smile lines would go. Just a little tip. Okay, so now that skincare is done, I'm just gonna brush out my hair. My hair has been pretty, it's honestly been pretty easy to style here in Florida because I got that treatment done. If you guys remember, I got that treatment done on my hair a few months ago. I got it done like six months ago now, but it just smoothed my hair. It's called Pro Addiction. I have a whole video on it. Um, but I really loved what it did for my hair because it just kind of makes it manageable. Like, I'm fine going out like this just in my workout clothes, you know? Obviously, if we're going to do something, like, fancy, I'll do my hair. But my hair is pretty manageable, so I'll just brush it. If I need a dry shampoo, of course, I'll do that. But I just washed it yesterday morning. Do a little tuck, and then it's like, done. Easy. Hair is done. And it's grown so much. When we were here in March, my hair was at collarbone, right here at my collarbone. So this much is all new growth. It's grown so much just from not having to put heat on it. Like I was nervous that that treatment might do something to my hair, like damage it, but it's helped it be able to grow because I never have to put heat on it. Alrighty, let's get this day started. I'm gonna make a matcha. Um, I gotta get groceries. Let's go. 
it's finally like a florida winter it's finally like a good temperature in the mornings where you can wear sweatshirts and at nights so you can wear sweatshirts here so we've been taking full advantage of that i got out all my cozy like oversized sweatshirts that i had like under our bed in storage um but just about every day i'll wear these align shorts from lululemon and then i just have on a top from lululemon i'm pretty sure this t-shirt is called the love tee they're my favorite tees because they have kind of this like dolphin cut which i like i think it's flattering and it's in the back too it's like if you can kind of tell but anyways i just throw this sweatshirt on and then cozy cozy for the mornings let's make a matcha okay so i shared this before but this is the matcha that we've been using and it's just about out i probably have like one more matcha i can make from it but it's from sun life organics and it's like the best most like vibrant lime green matcha and i just make it in one of these little starbucks reusable cups I've shared my recipe before. It's just matcha, milk, a little bit of water, ice, and honey. That's it. Froth it all together. And it's so good. It gives you like steady, happy energy throughout the day. Okay, I've been putting away groceries, but I just have left the pantry kind of groceries. And I've been wanting to share a little bit of our pantry organization here. We don't have much storage, but what we do have, obviously we keep pretty organized to fit it all in there. So I'll put these away and then I'll share our pantry storage. Starting with this top one up there, we just have um, Tupperware. So something that's really useful with any type of pantry storage, but especially if you have a smaller pantry, is these little um, like baskets. These are actually like wire, like metal baskets. I had these in our first house, in our old house, and obviously moved with them, and they were like the best investment ever. They were not even an investment, but just the best things to have for organization because we were able to move with them and still use them. This shelf is like snacky type things, like crackers, and here's chips, popcorn, just like snack type things up here. Up here is obviously like oils, our silverware. So something interesting about about our apartment is that we don't have any drawers. And that just blew my mind when we moved here. I just never thought you could have a kitchen without drawers. <laughs> so we had to get a little creative and I found these little bins at Home Goods one day. And so we just have our silverware organized in here, straws. Obviously it's not organized perfectly, but it does the job well. And then I have an extra bag of chips back there, but then, and then this one, we just have like bigger, um, kitchen utensils like spoons and cheese grater stuff like that so then in this bigger one is where we have most of our food so this top shelf right here is all of our like tea and coffee cream all that stuff Elthanian Brett puts that in his coffee our tea organizer and then right here is like big spoons and things that we always use for cooking just for easy grabbing and then just for ease I keep a loaf of bread right on here because <laughs> it fits. So I got sourdough today at Trader Joe's. The second shelf is all of our canned and dinner things. So any pastas, um, all, all of our canned stuff, beans, tuna, tomato sauce, broth, tortillas, things to have dinner options always in there. Trash bags, of course. This one is kind of my smoothie and like wellness shelves we have all of the seeds like chia seeds flax seeds little coconut shreds granola peanut butter honey my green powder i drink every day protein powder that i use right now from tone it up so this is kind of all like my smoothie drawer which is fun because i can just take this whole thing out when i make a smoothie and everything i need is in there and then this bottom drawer is a little bit more of a catch-all we have right here is just like nuts and peanut butter and maple syrup and stuff but then back there is cooking or baking supplies since we never really bake in here it's like if we need flour if we need sugar pumpkin stuff it's back there but it's not like super easy to get to so yeah that's that's it that is our pantry organization but just having those 
little bins is really helpful just to help keep it organized and we know where everything is everything always goes back to where it is and then something else that we do right up here is have our menu so we have some dinner ideas some lunch ideas and also sometimes i'll write it on our little whiteboard over there so we always have a bit of a plan and kind of know what we have know what we can make with what we have and just try to make it as easy on ourselves as possible we definitely do try to eat all of our meals here we just, we just naturally do that i like to cook and it just works for us so having some lists and some pre-made like options is always really helpful i think i'm gonna get ready to do a little workout i've really been liking the p-volve workouts i've talked about them a couple times on my instagram and probably on youtube before too box of all my p-volve equipment i just keep it in the box because it's easy for me to just store it <laughs> for now but it is like the equipment with the like resistance ball and band it feels a bit like a pilates but with more resistance um it just feels really good on the body so i think i'm gonna do a little p-ball workout to get my day started for 2023 so you guys know I always make my background of my laptop and my phone screen my vision boards so that I always see them it's like subconsciously programming it into my mind so yeah this is just a peek at mine I make it um, like the thing the whole thing in Canva and then I make like a little template to make it fit into my laptop screen and then the same thing with the phone I just um, save it as a picture and then make it my phone background pretty simple but yeah on here I have some different goals I'm really into like fitness goals this year and feeling really strong so I have a girl weightlifting and like a strong girl here and I have it's vital and important that I desire these goals because it is vital and important and it doesn't just affect me it affects everybody around me too if I feel good a lot of other people are going to feel good too. Um, one of my goals this year is to be able to do a handstand. So I have her on there. This is symbolizing like Brett and I getting to do some fun travel when he feels better. Um, again, some fun travel, like luxury travel. I have today is the day. I have my car on there. I've wanted this car for a long time, so I just keep it on there. I have a girl walking because my goal is to walk every day. And then I thought this was really fitting because it's like the ocean and um, now that we're in Florida, we go to the ocean a lot, or at least I do, and it says me, and then right here it says blessings, <laughs> so I love that. Trust the process. It says I highly value health and self-care. That's one of my identities this year. For next place, I am manifesting a place with an island, like a kitchen island. Our only counter space is this right here, which is great. I'm, it's plenty, it's fine. Um, but I really miss having a kitchen island. I'm making a piece of peanut butter toast behind me, by the way. And then I have right here a girl's morning routine. It says best part of my morning. And then a home office. That's something I really miss, actually. I typically will go out and work and our building has a nice spot to work you guys have seen it before in my instagram and stuff or i'll go to a coffee shop whatever but i like having a home office i just do even even in a small place like this smaller place you know um so our lease here is up in june we just rented obviously we're just renting an apartment um and we might stay here or potentially might go somewhere new so if we do go somewhere new i'm really manifesting a place with a home office like room for a home office and a kitchen counter <laughs> that would be amazing so that's my vision board for right now i'm really big advocate for vision boards but also for updating them keeping them up to date even if you want to make them every month because um sometimes these things can happen faster than you even realize or you you know realize like something else might trigger you more to um go more towards your goals and, and everything so i like to keep them up to date um but yeah oh yeah and then i have be your safe place right there but yeah i just want to share my vision board but i'm actually going to get a little bit of work done it's already 350 so i'm going to get some um grind some stuff out 
and right now I'm drinking a little from Trader Joe's this morning I got this banana and almond butter protein smoothie this morning I had to run a quick errand in the morning and so while I was out I was like oh I'll run to Trader Joe's so I ran into Trader Joe's got some groceries and had never ate breakfast so I just grabbed this and it's pretty good not the best ingredients but it's pretty good um, so I'm just trying to finish that for a little before dinner snack and yeah I'll check with you guys later for our dinner recipe. I'm gonna make a really good dinner recipe at Trader Joe's. I got it. I'll show you guys. But it's like a chicken shawarma, um, like pita bread hummus thing. So it's gonna be really good. <laughs> Look at that sunset. Soaking it in. Boba. Okay, it is time for dinner and I wanted to share with you guys my recipe I'm gonna make. This is my favorite time of night because the sunset comes in here and it's just so beautiful. Look at that. Oh my God, our window's so dirty. Okay, this is what I'm making for dinner. Um, Trader Joe's is just the best and has so many great pre-made things. So I got this shawarma chicken. It's like shawarma, like seasoned um, chicken, and it's chicken thigh at Trader Joe's. So I'm just gonna make this. It's already seasoned and um, like thawed, <laughs> so it's nice not having like frozen chicken. So I'm just gonna make that. And then we bought that a couple weeks ago and tried it, and it definitely needs to be in some type of like pita pocket or something. So I got this non bread the other day. So I'm just gonna kind of use this and just kind of have fun with it. I'm sure there's a good recipe to use, but I'm just gonna use what we have. So I'm gonna put a red onion in it. I love red onions, so I'm gonna slice that. I'm gonna put some green peppers. I know this doesn't exactly go with like that flavor of dish, but I just like peppers. I'm gonna do some tomatoes. I love tomatoes, so I'm just gonna use these ones up. And then I got this big um, box of them today at Trader Joe's, so I love those. And then as far as toppings go, I have some hummus. I have some olives, oh my gosh, these are my favorite little things to get at Publix, some feta cheese, some arugula, and then I'm not sure if we'll need like a dressing because we can put the hummus, but if so, I just have this from Trader Joe's, it's the vegan Caesar, and it's just really good to have just a little bit on it. So I'm just gonna mix this all up, really casual and easy. Okay, so I took these and popped them in the toaster and then I put just a little bit of hummus on one side and a little bit of plain Greek yogurt on the other side to be like uh, sour cream, some arugula. And now I have over here the chicken shawarma with some green bell pepper, some tomato, and some red onion. And this looks amazing, so we're gonna go ahead and dish up. Yum, let's eat. 